twice exceptional. What does that mean? In the past, a bright child who struggled in school was often referred to as GTLD, gifted and talented slash learning disabled. Today, a more common term for these children, one that encompasses a broader range of learning, social, and emotional challenges, is twice exceptional, or 2E for short. Twice exceptional children have one set of traits related to their high capabilities and another set related to their limitations or special needs. The blending of these two sets of conflicting traits produces a unique profile. There's no single profile of a twice exceptional child. The nature and causes of twice exceptionality are too varied. Still, there are some traits that many 2E children share. A 2E child may have one or more diagnoses. These might include learning disabilities, processing disorders, and emotional or behavioral disorders. On the other hand, some 2E children have no formal diagnosis, but can have learning differences of other kinds that can make it hard to function in a traditional classroom. 2E children often display characteristics typical of gifted children. In general, they don't have trouble grasping concepts or generating ideas. Where they often struggle is in putting thoughts down on paper, writing legibly, doing calculations accurately, or staying organized and on track. 2E kids may also find it hard to make and keep friends, hard to tolerate the noise and bustle of a classroom, and hard to meet the requirements to sit still and pay attention. A child with this profile can be a challenge to raise as well as to educate, Having this combination of strengths and weaknesses can produce behaviors that baffle parents and educators, behaviors that frustrate and dishearten 2E kids themselves. Adding to this challenge is the difficulty of identifying 2E children. Some are obviously gifted but don't seem to be working up to their potential. Others are easily identified as having learning challenges that overshadow their gifts and talents. And then there are those students whose classroom performance seems average. That's because their gifts and their deficits mask each other. So many 2E kids are either unidentified or misidentified. Twice exceptional children need three main things to succeed. First, they need to understand themselves. Gaining this understanding is the first step towards self-advocacy, being able to ask for what they need to become independent and successful learners. Second, twice exceptional kids need challenge. They thrive in a learning environment where their giftedness is recognized first, not their disability. Despite any trouble they might have in reading, writing, or paying attention, these kids do best on work that offers them appropriate challenge. Third, 2E students need support to overcome deficits and develop gifts. Along with lots of encouragement, these students may need formalized support, like an IEP or 504 plan. Both are available to eligible students under federal law. Other forms of support are just what many would call good teaching, practices that can benefit everyone in the classroom, not just those who are twice exceptional. It's easy to think that bright kids' inconsistent performance, disorganization, and inattention is just laziness, carelessness, or lack of interest. But when we look closer and find that twice exceptionality is the real cause, then we can offer the proper mix of encouragement, challenge, and support that these kids need to achieve like the gifted students they are. Find out more about raising and teaching twice exceptional children at the website of 2E Twice Exceptional Newsletter. Thanks for watching, and thanks for your interest in helping these great young people reach their potential.